I've recently started another average save in Project Zomboid. You know, I looted the house I spawned in, left, came across my three undead neighbors, and ended their suffering. However, at this point, the run came to a halting stop. I was overcome with guilt. The guilt of murdering my undead neighbors. The guilt of breaking the law. Then it hit me. Why don't I try to play the game without breaking any laws? Is it even possible to not break any laws? Well, we're about to find out. I'd like to start off with a disclaimer. Look, I've watched all of Better Call Saul, but that doesn't make me a lawyer. So I could unintentionally break a law that I'm not aware of, so bear with me throughout this video. So first off, we gotta choose our spawning location. Mm, Rosewood seems fine. And now, for probably one of the most important parts of this run, the traits and occupation. So we'll let the game decide, just do this a couple of times. Yeah, looks looks good to me. Now, I'd like to introduce you to Ward Anderson, a character who I definitely made myself and didn't hit the random button eight times. All right, enough talk. Let's get to business. I start off in a pretty nice house and think to myself, what am I actually going to do? If I were to play the game normally, and beat up anything that moves and loot anything that catches my eye. But that's illegal. So I can't do those things. Well, I could just sit in my house and watch TV all day, but that's boring. So I made up a list of things I have to do that are legal and must be done legally. Starting off with get groceries. I take a peek in the fridge and notice I'm missing milk, eggs, butter, and many more things. Now you might be asking, why are those the first things I notice that I'm missing? Well, I've got a bit of a sweet tooth, so I added bake something, you know, like muffins or pie, as the second thing on my list. Other than that, I'll just pick up some fruit, vegetables, and whatever else I might come across. Now I'm hoping that luck will be on my side, and a car will be waiting for me in my driveway. It is not. But it still had me thinking. To drive a car, I need a license and registration. Project Zomboid does not have such items, meaning that even if I had a car to drive, I couldn't legally drive it. But that's okay, I'll just walk. Hey look, there are my neighbors looking eager to speak to me and kind of dead. Well, I'm sorry, can't talk right now, I've got things to do. You know, this is taking a while, why don't I just jog? Could you imagine if I'd have to walk in their town like this? It would take forever. I didn't realize how many of them there actually are. They might become a big problem. No matter, because we've reached the store. Luckily, it's open. I'm hoping to find a bag so it's easier to carry my groceries. No bag? Alright. I'll just carry everything in my hands. I have to hurry, because I can already hear those angry shoppers coming for me. I gotta get some eggs and... Oh, this is not looking good. Oh no. Oh no. This just went from bad to worse. And I just went from alive to dead. This is way harder than I thought it would be, and I just realized I didn't have any money to pay with anyway. That's right, if I wanted to get anything from stores, I would have to pay for them of course. Now here's the problem, where do I get this money? I've thought of one way that I can get money. By spawning in a house that has a stash with some dollars in it, which would definitely not have enough to pay for what I'm planning to buy throughout my list. This unfortunately leads me to make an exception. I know, I know, I'm not happy about it either, but without this exception, I won't be able to complete most of the things on my list. I'm thinking, I'll give myself money from the start, but the question is, how much do I give myself? To be better safe than sorry, I'll start off with $1,000. Now in my video where I go over how rich you can become in the game, one of these money isn't actually $1, but for this video, I'll just pretend that one of these money is one dollar, so I don't have to do the math while I'm being a lawful citizen because that difficult multiplication would make my microscopic brain explode. Okay, let's try this again. Just like before, I'll spawn in Rosewood, and as for traits, this time I'll be serious. Since I'll be walking and jogging most of the time, I'll focus on the traits that'll make me very fit. 
so mainly runner, athletic, and strong, and then I've got cat's eyes, dexterous, outdoorsman, and wakeful for good measure. Then, all of these for the negative traits. As for my occupation, I chose chef, so I know the cake's recipe from the start as to not look for the cooking magazine. What do you say, Ward? Ready to go again? Because this time, I've come prepared. Did I just spawn in the same house? Yeah, I think this is the same house. All right. Here you can see that I got the $1,000, and no more time wasting. Let's get those groceries. I'm thinking I'll distract the zombies close to the store by going behind the buildings on the other side of the street, and hoping they start breaking the windows and doors, and just forget I exist once I turn around the corner. Make sure I use the crosswalk, just go here calmly, and there's more of them. Okay, I'll try to run behind these trees, behind the store, and hope for the best. I'm making my move. I gotta get those cake ingredients fast. Butter, eggs, yeast, sugar. What else do I need? You know what? I'll get some cake as well. Why not? And that meat is looking good. I'll take that as well. This is getting out of hand real fast. I'll just go pay now and come back for the rest later. Just keep placing the money one by one. Oh no. I'm sorry for leaving the counter. It's just that I'm getting harassed by everyone in this store. Now's my chance. Here's the rest. I'm out. We did it, folks. We got all, well, most of the groceries that I wanted to get. Which means I can't cross off the first thing off my list just yet since I'm missing flour. And look at that, I'm home. I gotta be quick since I have a feeling they'll follow me and start banging on my doors and windows like savages. My neighbors were nice, well, seemed nice, and now they just can't seem to leave me alone. But that won't stop me from finishing everything on my list. Like the third thing, which is subscribe to SQZ. Well that's pretty easy. Wouldn't you say? Hint, hint, wink, wink. <clears throat> Alright, back to the video. Next thing on my list is get moving. Project Zomboid has VHS stores in Riverside and Muldraw, but not Rosewood. Luckily for me, the gas station over here has these shelves which spawn tapes, which is where I'm heading to now. And just like with the store, I'm hoping it won't be locked. Speaking of the store, it looks pretty empty. So I'm going to take this opportunity to get some flour. Bingo. And I'll get some water too. Pay up and keep on moving. The further I go, the more zombies I see. It's not a problem as long as I be quick. Just get that tape, pay up and leave. Here we are. The beloved gas station. It's... It's... It's locked. Not good. Not good. Hold up. There's a back door. I still have a chance. Man, this game hates me. Well, now I have to find another way to legally get myself a movie. Mm, let's see. So, a little good news and drastically large bad news. Starting off with the good news, I found the nearest VHS store. And as for the bad news, it's in Muldra. To get to it, I'll have to walk all this way. I mean, this trip doesn't look that bad, but enough chit chat. Let's. Go. Okay, I just passed the intersection, which means I'm really close. You're kidding me. This game does hate me. I spent nearly an hour jogging to Muldra, and then this happens. <laughs> You know what? Why don't I start another save? But this time, spawn somewhere else. Like Riverside. Even though I messed up pretty bad with the previous run, I'm feeling good about this one. Riverside's got everything I need. I think. Same traits, and same character. Ready for round 3 ward? Cause I sure am. New save, new me. Let's go. No more time wasting. Actually wait, I'll chuck upstairs for a backpack. No backpack, but I found a satchel. This will do nicely. Now we can go. I also noticed I'm missing a bowl, so I'm hoping the grocery store in Riverside will have that. Now to make sure I don't get overwhelmed, I'll just go behind the store, around the bank, and towards the store again. Look at them, completely clueless. Let's get some veggies. Oh, and look at that, a bowl, perfect. Then we got flour, vegetable oil, why not? Yeast, butter, milk, eggs, and finally, sugar. Time to pay, and be on my way. 
It ain't so bad in this store. In Rosewood, I feared for my life, but here it's pretty chill. Now once I'm home, I'll immediately start making that cake. If I won't be bothered by my neighbors, that is. Oh, look how many of them there are. Guys, were you throwing a party without me? I can't be having that. I've got a cake to make. Come on, guys, let's go. Okay, watch this, right? Once I see my house, jump the fence, and I'm hoping they'll just stand there and not backtrack. Fingers crossed. Yes! Look at that. All their eyes are on me. I'm not clear yet. We got one more uh, trend to take care of. Never mind. I gave her something to do. Bang on the neighbor's garage door. I'm in the kitchen and I'm ready to bake. Just look at this. I've got everything I need. It's gonna make me cry. Bake, my beloved. Bake. And I'll take a shower while I wait. Oh look, cake's done. I've prepared two meals for tomorrow. And as for now, I'll go relax upstairs. Check it out, I found fingerless gloves. I am looking very the good. Well folks, it's time to catch some Z's. Day two. Remind me what's next on the list. Sure thing. It's uh... No wait, you already did that. It's Get Movie. I know the exact place to go to. Right here. Best part about this place is that it also has a liquor store that sells cigarettes. That'll be perfect for my smoker ass. I don't have to get them, but I'd like to. We'll see how it goes. There'll definitely be too many of them to handle. So I'm thinking to just go behind that tall fence, you know, from the Spiffles parking lot, then behind the store, and beg to God that it's open. Oh, thank God. They got Dog Goblin 4 and 3? This day got a whole lot better. Pay up and skedad. But not too far, so I gotta distract these folks. Maybe with this restaurant, which is open. Bring them in, then close the door. Ah, uh, one will be enough. I hope. Okay, cigarettes, cigarettes, cigarettes. This is starting to become a serious situation. You know what? I think these three cigarettes will be enough. Here you are. I gotta go. So, a bit of my recording messed up. Basically, there was just a lot of not-so-friendly people, and I just circled around the block to lose them. So you didn't miss much. But hey, look, the fog's cleared. Anyway, I can cross off one more thing off my list. And with that, we move on to buying new clothes. There's many clothes stores in Riverside. Let's see. Here's one, but there's too many of them here. You know what? I'll just head to the one towards the gas station. Here it is, with the door wide open. I'm not looking for much, just some pants and a top. I pick these out. I'd say I'm looking real fresh. Three letters are enough to describe the situation. B A D. Just gotta pay and leave in style. That's another thing crossed off my list. Now the next thing will require a bit of imagination, so bear with me. Next up is visit mom. This can be done in a couple of steps. Step 1. Decide where mom lives. Where does mom live? Where does mom live? Yeah, mom lives here. Step 2. Plan my route. If I pass through the woods, I'll get there sooner, but I don't want to risk getting attacked by some hiker or camper. So I'll just follow the road. Oh yeah, and it's day three by the way. And man, this will take a while. Unless I do this. Ah, lucky you. You didn't have to experience the most boring 35 minutes of Project Zomboid. But I did. Please let the door be unlocked. Yes! This game loves me and there's... Mom? Mom, you, do you doing alright? I'm sure she'll be fine. Actually, wait, I'm pretty thirsty, so just come in and... Sorry, mom. And have a sip of that tap water. And I'll cross that off the list. And while I make my way home, let me explain the last thing on my list. So at first, I had paint second floor walls. Like, it sounds fun, you know? But I was thinking, where do I even get paint? Hardware stores were my first guess. But any of them that are close to Riverside don't sell paint. The only places I could find paint in are warehouses, like this one. But I don't think I can barge in any warehouse, money in hand, demanding I be sold paint. So I changed it to get furniture, preferably a long couch. Lucky for me, Riverside has two furniture stores. And look at that, I'm home. Tired as hell. I'll do the washy washy, and then the sleepy sleepy. Okay, day four I believe. I'm hoping this will be the final day. So the thing is, if I'm going to buy a long couch, the weight will be 30. 15 for each side, I believe. 
If I'll carry both in my hands, it'll be too heavy and I'll quickly get exerted. Luckily, my satchel has a capacity of 15, so I've taken pretty much nothing with me other than cash. Here's the first store. Oh ho ho, game's messing with me a little. Not a problem. There's a furniture store next to that clothing store I was at. Okay. Not to worry, there's gotta be another furniture store nearby. L let me just check on the map. So... I found the closest furniture store, and it's in West Point. Just like from the previous run, I'll have to go for at least one whole hour. And that's only one way. I'll have to come back, so that's two whole hours of just walking. Yes! Yes! I don't know how much longer I can do this for. Well, I better get going. feeling I wouldn't make it before sunset, so I brought this very comfortable looking chair to sleep on, next to the road. Let's hope I wake up without someone munching on me. Nope, I'm good. Let's keep moving. I don't know how much longer I can do this for- Oh hey, I'm here. I'm- Already noticing the large amount of very touchy people. My god, there's a lot. I might have underestimated the situation. It ain't so bad. Just run around the block and hope they forget about me. Let's see, let's see. Well, the only choice I have are these chairs. Because for the bigger ones, I need a and I'm hammer and just so stand there. What do I even pay? Ah, this I'm in the will kitchen. Be. Let's and hope I'm bake. not surrounded. Nope. No, I'll, I'll make it out me. safely. I'm kind of thirsty. This soda will satiate my thirst. Here's the payment, and now, it's time to make it back in one piece. Nope, we're not doing that again. Home, sweet home. And with my not-so-grand return, the final thing on my list is crossed off. I did it. I've, hopefully, broken no laws and made it back in one piece. I'll clean myself, enjoy the celebratory ice cream, and sleep in my oh-so-comfortable bed. Now that I've reached the end of my journey, I feel like blowing off some steam. I'ma take this crowbar and find myself a victim. You. Yeah, yeah, you. Come here. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. What? What? What happened? I'm... I'm... No, 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 no. Come on. I barely touched him, man. Please. Not like this. No. This isn't fair. Well, I guess this is the end of me and the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.